What's up? What's going on, LC heads? We got Diablo 2 dropped the very last day. Awesome. So, I'm going to try to run them. Uh, level 66. How fitting, right? Why not run them like this? I'll show you guys what I got on them. I just spent probably about 15 minutes grinding things out for them. That's it. That's where we're at. We've got some blood force for no reason. <laughs> Probably do me better right there. Empire of Might would be nice. I think we'll be good to go. Uh, I did already run this once. I was kind of surprised. We're going to try dropping a special and lowering resistance. I think it is like a 20%. So... I mean, that's pretty nice. Alright, we want fear to go off and all of that good stuff. Then whatever we can throw. Oh! We are going to have to hit and run. Uh, I will say this. As soon as I started taking damage in this, I was like, oh man, no, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to get destroyed. Uh, but then this hero surprised me. Uh. Right, at least we have the birds broken. The thrower special. And it's actually fairly decent, right? And now all of them have a dark break. That's very nice, along with the you know 50% uh, mind break that's on everybody. The fact that they're doing less damage. Really? Oh, I was gonna say I want to hunt down the birds. The birds are all gone. Uh, S1 drops very quickly. Well, that's an issue though. Right, we just, we don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> I do not have the paid item that gets rid of, uh, that gives him extra damage reduction. Might as well just throw that other special. Does he ever come back to life? <laughs> Close. All right. So he does clear it with a very low SP. Uh, very cool. He is a cool hero just to throw into a dark party. Uh, he can actually bring a lot to the table for a dark party, especially if you have a mage in there. Uh, pretty big stat breaks and... Uh, flat damage percent break that he gives uh, and he's got a cool kit the S1's highly spammable you can drop a shit ton of them real quick which is good because he doesn't have any flinch proof so you need to be able to drop that S1 very quickly to get it through to get some damage through uh, I just think he's a great looking character on the screen he does the damn thing there we go. I'm starting to feel my lip a little bit. I can move my lip a little bit today. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. Ugh. Bear with me. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, he's actually been uh, surprisingly a blast to run. Uh, and remember, his damage reduction is going to help your whole party, right? Because he's breaking the enemy of that much damage that's good for the whole party and your whole team can also take advantage of a 50% mind break um, against some parties where you have mind 
scaling characters, like Balin is one of them, this is a way to neuter that, like very quickly, because as soon as the fight starts, he's already throwing debuffs out automatically, uh, fear can be very strong, uh, and the other thing I'm going to say about him that I don't think I've seen many people really talk about, we actually look at his stats, uh, he can be uh, a quasi-caster character, so he can be good. He's going to be better at casting spells than another hero would. Um, you know, in Last Claudia, we can build heroes however we want. You can make anything you want into a healer. But some heroes are going to be better at being a healer than others. There's going to be some heroes that are only going to have 200 magic points, right? So... Uh, they're not going to make the best healer. Uh, the point being is, because he's scaling off of strength, intelligence, and mind, he actually has pretty good strength, intelligence, and mind stats. Uh, so, he's going to be good at multitasking. Um, you, can, you can set him up to have some kind of backup heal spell. Um, so, I mean, he's a pretty good canvas for different abilities. Right, because he just has so much he can scale from. Uh, I would actually think most people would want to get his other accessory. I just wanted the scissors because I do like the fact that it's damage cap to crit. So it's damage cap that he can sprinkle on all over the place. Right. So now the more crits you got, the more damage cap you got popping up. I really like that. His other accessory though makes him take like substantially less damage to things that are broken to him I believe I think most people would the smart thing would have been to have gotten that and to keep him a little more armored just so he can stay around in the back and throw around his debuffs and his you know his big stat breaks yeah anyway I got the scissors this time around I'm not going to push it for his other item uh, but if I could do it all over again, I might have probably gotten his accessory. I mean, a weapon is pretty easy to replace. So, I got him at 48 SC. And, you know, he just destroyed the ogre. Uh, scarecrowed his way through that shit, no problem. So, actually, pretty happy with him. Gonna be throwing him into some dark teams. Might even see if I can put him into... A guild versus guild team with like Rimuru or something like that because they both get a decent stat buff to a bunch of their stats for I think Rimuru gets a stat buff for being on auto and he gets a stat buff for being with a Rimuru or a creature one other creature so I'll have to see how that all works out and uh, he really could neuter a lot of attack parties in guild versus guild uh, just I am. We'll see how that works out. Uh, I will see. Talk to you later. Hopefully after my face heals a little bit more and I can start moving my mouth. Anyway, later everybody.